just sprung out of my hands like it was alive, like it was a little leprechaun. Blending until I die. That's my motto. Uh, well, hello, and looky here. I have not a lick of makeup on, not any eyebrow hair drawn on, nothing. This is the natural dead color of my lips. This is really what my eyebrows look like, and this is the condition of my skin. I'm 45. I've been wearing sunscreen since I was 18, but I am starting to see some fine lines around here, and things are lower than they used to be. It doesn't bother me because I have fully accepted that age is something that you cannot stop, so you might as well enjoy it. So I got kind of sucked in by these boomsticks by Cindy Joseph commercials I was seeing on Facebook. And I was like, wow, this is cool that they made easy makeup for older ladies. I wonder what it's like. And I've watched the videos. There's three sticks. There's one that's a moisturizer, one that's a rosy color, and one that's more like a bronzer highlighter. And it cost about $80 for these three sticks, which, you know what, I mean, for good cosmetics, that's pretty normal, a little bit on the higher end. But, you know, I think that Cindy Joseph is like the perfect spokesperson for an older person's beauty company. She's so adorable. And everything that she does, it looks great. So what would happen when normal people use these sticks? I'm sure the boom sticks work in the way that they are intended, adding some color and some moisture. But can we do this without spending $80? Yes. I do think that the boom sticks are kind of like marketing genius you know finally someone's talking to older ladies about wearing less makeup and more natural looks but if we're going to be completely honest um many people need more than these three sticks of course it's better than no makeup at all it's going to polish you up a bit even boom the company knows that you need more than these three sticks because they said hey all you need is these three sticks and then they added all sorts of products onto their website, um, expensive mascara, expensive brow gel, all sorts of skincare, which I think is smart. It's very smart. But how can I, as a consumer, replicate this look without the expense? So let's just break down what we might need here for a very simple, older lady natural look. First, they have the Boomstick Glow, which is a moisturizer in a stick. Now, there are a million moisturizers out there. I mean, there's no shortage of moisturizers. If you need yours in stick form because you're kind of a simple gal, then it's probably the moisturizer for you. But I happen to use multiple levels of moisturizer for different reasons, and that stick probably isn't enough for me. So, like I said, we're going to be honest here about what we are really looking at. Cindy Joseph has nice, natural-looking brows. They seem to be filled in a little bit here and there, but I don't know. That's just what I'm seeing. And when she comes on camera, before she even puts anything on, um, she looks like she has a lot of life in her skin and her lips. What about people like me who look like they just crawled out of the grave? You know what? I'm going to just start putting things on and stop talking because the less minutes I'm on the internet looking like this, the better. Okay, so let's talk about the first thing. First thing is moisturizer. The first thing I'm going to do is put my hair back like this because I don't need moisturizer getting in my hair. And when I use a spray facial toner, like I'm going to use this simple facial toner from Trader Joe's. Rose water facial toner. And I just don't need my hair getting wet. I have wavy hair. Anybody with wavy curly hair knows, just don't get it on your hair. And that automatically gives you a nice level of moisture before you even put on your moisturizer. 
if you were even using the Boomstick Glow, you would want to spray your face to get it ready to accept the moisturizer barrier that you're trying to put on your face. I think I got it all. I don't know if you can tell any difference, but it feels much better. So after that, they're not putting any kind of um, foundation on in the video, but I would like to suggest that even for a simple look, a tinted moisturizer with sunscreen is always a good idea. And in this case, I love Clarins, and this has a very light tint to it. I am going to use this because I think this really helps. And having sunscreen on is the jam. You should do it. This tinted moisturizer has a lot of pigment. So I tend to really spread it out, kind of like a foundation, but not too much because I want the sunscreen benefit. So let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of before tinted moisturizer and after. Look, my lips are the color of this shirt and the wall behind me. Mm -hmm. I don't have rosy lips, Cindy Joseph, you naturally beautiful woman with color and loveliness. So I'll show you what I would do is I would add color to my lips. I think this Burt's Bees tinted lip balm is great. So before I even get started, I would really like to put this on because my lips are a little dry. Look, I have lips. That's just a tinted lip balm. That's not even really makeup. And that's just a few dollars, so I, I, hate to, I hate to disparage any company because I think it's really great what they're doing over at Boom. I'm just thinking about the people who want to spend less. So far, my tinted moisturizer with SPF and my tinted lip balm are already 100% better. But you know what the most important thing that I think of when I think about going out the door with very little makeup on, and I'm going to say it, I say it all the time, you have to put on your eyebrows. Put them on. Put on your eyebrows. You can't be walking around with half an eyebrow, like me, or no eyebrows, looking like a Victorian ghost. And I'm going to very lightly pencil in the places that I don't have eyebrows. What you want to do when you are doing your eyebrows, because you don't want to overdo it. And once you do your eyebrows, you can do way less with the rest of your face, but you gotta get the eyebrows right. So you wanna take a good, hard look at your face and be honest and non-judgmental because what you're going to find is that you are going to be very asymmetrical. And you need to know the honest truth about where you're asymmetrical so that you can even it out. And for me, my problem is that my one eyebrow goes way higher than the other. So I actually shave off the top of it. Instead of getting Botox to relax this side, I just shave it off and then I draw it on lower. Is that weird? It works. It's cheaper. Less toxins being injected into my body. So you want to be honest with yourself. Where are you asymmetrical? So for me, this eyebrow is pretty cool. Like I wish the other one looked like that, but it doesn't. So I have to draw this one on lower to match this, and then I have to arc this one a little bit more to match this one. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to speed it up because that's boring. You want to take a step back at like every few strokes to make sure you're not going crazy. See, I just went crazy. Okay, that's my left eyebrow. And my right eyebrow has nothing. 
you can see how this is nice and filled out and not unnatural at all. But I need to make this one match now. So what do I have to do? If I'm going to be honest with myself, this one doesn't come up high enough. My whole face kind of goes, well, <laughs> it's okay. It's always okay. Um, whatever my face wants to do, I support it. But maybe not everything it wants to do. Just because I need to fill it up on the top doesn't mean I don't need to fill it out on the bottom. You gotta brush it through. Okay, so what you do is you try to make your eyebrows similar and you can never make them exact. Faces are not meant to be perfect like porcelain dolls. Um, but you want your eyebrows to be related to each other. You want them to be the same thickness and hopefully a similar arch. And you also want the tails to point at the same things. Like for me, I aim at the top of my ear where it connects to my head. So that made a huge difference already. I would feel fine just going out with my eyebrows, my tinted moisturizer, and my tinted lip balm from Burt's Bees. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. No more head neck. No more. Don't need that anymore. So what's next? What can we do that's similar to the Boomsticks trio? Okay, so we kind of, we tackled the moisture game. No, we didn't tackle the moisture game. The last thing I want to say about the moisture stick is that, yes, you can get moisture in any form you want these days. So there are so many moisturizers you can choose from, but if you want to emulate the glow of the Boomstick glow, um, there is a really wonderful moisturizer that makeup artists use called Skin Food. And it's really not very expensive. And you think, oh, that tube is so little, but oh my gosh, it lasts forever. And you don't need much of it. So what I would do is I would just take, I'd just take a little tiny bit and I'll rub it between my fingers to really get it completely disappeared. Okay, here's the trick. You can put it right here on your cheeks and it's gonna make you look so much more alive. Sometimes I tap it a little bit right here if I'm having a dry day. And then something else they do with the boomsticks is they make sure to highlight the clavicle. Um, I don't really like that trick because I don't want anything on my clothes, but this is clear lotion and I think it's fine. Okay, so looking alive, looking moisturized, skin food, pro tip. Honestly, I think that I look better with concealer. I'm going to skip it and we're just going to go for the boomstick look, okay? I did cheat and put on the eyebrows. But I think they're cheating and putting on eyebrows too. So, okay, I went to Ulta and I got, I got these dupes. Well, I think that they're going to be dupes. So I decided to go with a semi-cheap makeup brand. And I don't know if you pronounce it NYX or NYX. Doesn't matter. You can find this at nearly anywhere. But um, I got their Wonder Stick. What is what's it called? Wonder Stick Dual Ended Cream Blush Stick. Okay, I did get this one. And I got it in a light peach baby pink duo. Because <laughs> cause I'm a baby. No, because uh, I have light skin and that's what I got. And there are different levels, so you get what's good for you. And then I got this Wonder Stick Dual Ended Face Shaping Stick. Now, I'm not huge on contouring. I feel like contouring, contouring always makes me look dirty. <laughs> but I'm willing to try this because there's a highlighter on it. And then, I don't know, maybe we'll try the, maybe we'll try the contour side. 
And then, because I do not think that anything that I use on my cheeks that's going to be sheer enough to look natural on my cheeks is also going to stay on my lips. I just don't believe that that is a thing that works. I also got this MAC Powder Kiss Velvet Blur Slim Stick Lipstick because MAC lipsticks stay on like crazy. And don't try to sell me one stick for my cheeks and lips that's not going to stay on my lips. I don't like that. So I got this in a color that works for me. And what is that color? Hmm, peppery pink. And I got it in a nice natural rosy shade. So I'm pretty excited about that. But first things first. Okay, we covered the moisture level of the boomsticks. So I guess next we're going to go in with the rosy color. And let's see, how much was this? This was $14. So the boomstick trio, they come out to about 25 30 each and this was 14 so that's already cheaper let's just see how it looks we're gonna unbox it right now hmm. they really protected it what did they think it was going to do okay let's take a look this is I really need reading glasses oh my goodness okay this is the baby pink side let's see mm, is it gonna show up I think so. We're looking for something that's a natural color. I think it's, I think it's gonna work. That's baby pink. And this is, hey, this doesn't look right. This looks like light, this does not look like light peach. This looks like baby pink. I feel like this is labeled wrong. This looks like baby pink. I prefer the light peach side. Okay, I'm going to use this side because I think this is light peach. I tend to look good in peachy things. Okay, so this is what they do in the Boomstick ads. They put a whole bunch right here and they say, don't worry, it's gonna blend in. Do I believe that? It looks like an awful lot. I don't, I feel like a clown. Um, okay, so let's, let's blend that. I've always heard this trick about blending is that you just keep blending until it goes away, until it melts in. Let's see if that works. I'm not the best blender. I'm not a makeup professional. Well, you know what? That's nice. I don't think it's really showing up on camera, so maybe I'll do just a little bit more. <laughs> Can I be any more haphazard with that color application? I don't know. Blending until I die. That's my motto. Blend until you die. Hey, that's not bad. That added a lot of color to my face. $14. There's a lot of color in here. You could use this for a very long time. Maybe next time I'll try the uh, baby pink. So something else they do in the video is they add a little bit up here Hmm. Okay, let's see. Hmm. I think I put too much on my left lid. Well, I think that actually made a big difference. I have kind of these heavy, really bright white lids that are always like, hello, I'm eyelids. And I think this color really helps them recede. Okay, so maybe we should do a side-by-side -side comparison of what we've done so far. I do like this so far. That covers the color portion. Oh, you know what I didn't do that they always do in the video? They do a little bit on the neck. Uh, here and here. And I'm gonna put a little bit up here even though I was going to save that for the contouring part, but I think it couldn't hurt. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, neck blending. Uh, I don't really like the way this feels. It's like 
poking yourself in the neck over and over again. But I can see why this would be important. You don't want to just have color on your face. You want to look like your whole body might possibly be alive, whether that's true or not. Okay. How's that? Not bad. I liked this. This NYX. NYX. <laughs> NYX or NYX Wonder Stick color. I like that. Uh, before we get going with the next stage, which would be highlighting and contouring. I'm not excited about any kind of contouring. Before we do that, I would really like to add the lipstick because I believe that if I were in a boomstick commercial, I would have added the color from my cheeks onto my lips. But since I do not believe that would ever stay on my lips for longer than a half an hour, I'm going to use this long wearing lipstick from MAC which MAC makes the best lipsticks. They last forever. They come in every single shade. If you go in and you buy a lipstick that you think is going to work, but it's just slightly too pink or slightly too whatever, they take it back. They give you the next shade over and they can find your perfect color and it lasts for hours. Worth every penny. Okay, so this, this was pricier. This was $27, 27. And you know what? That's not cheap, but this thing probably is going to last me nearly a year. So let's go for it. I'm just going to put it right over my, my lip balm. I do not overfill my lips. I think that you can always see when people overfill their lips. I really don't think you're tricking anyone. I do not put on lipstick in a beautiful feminine way and who cares? Okay. So I really feel like what we've done so far is the equivalent of the first two boom sticks. And you know what? This does look really good. It's a nice natural look and you know honestly all the big money ladies that I know don't do more than this they keep it really natural so you want to look more expensive you do less it's kind of counterintuitive but it's the truth okay we're going to open this up we're gonna open up this wonder stick I I don't know I'm just not maybe I'm a little afraid of it I'm always afraid of highlighting and I'm especially afraid of contouring. Just every time I see contouring out there in the wild, it looks like mud. Sorry, it's judgmental. Okay, once again, they've really protected their, their wonder stick as if it was going to escape and, and take over the world. Let's take a look at this. I'm gonna read the colors again. This is in universal light. I think this is probably made for a bit fairer skin, but because I'm a kind of a light medium, but I really didn't want to go overboard. I wanted this to be subtle. So what do we have here? Hmm, this is the contouring side. And since I have it out, I'm going to put the contouring where I'm supposed to, but not everywhere I'm supposed to, because as soon as I get contouring down here, no, that does not work for me. It does not work for me. So I'm going to put this up here because when you have a giant forehead such as mine, it needs a little help being brought back down to earth. Where else should I put the contouring? I don't really want to put it anywhere else. I'm going to rub this in. I'm going to tap. I'm going to tap until I die. Until one of us dies, who will it be? Hopefully not me right now. Okay, so you know what? I do like that bit of color on my forehead up there. It makes me feel like I've been out in the sun, even though I avoid the sun like the plague. It's still nice to have that color. I do like that. Oh, I kind of forgot what I was doing. I'm so into my tan forehead. Here's the highlighter side. And it looks pretty bright. 
<laughs> I hope I didn't go too light here. Okay, so I'm kind of in the highlighter a little bit where I, I like to use it right here on my cheekbones. Now, I do not like what they did in the Boomstick commercials where they're like, I'm gonna highlight my brow bone. That's not always a great idea, especially not for someone that has such chonky lids like me. I don't want too much attention up there. So what I'm gonna do is my usual, where I'm gonna highlight the tops of my cheekbones and see how that looks first. Adds a little shimmer, which is nice. Kind of highlights my pores a little bit. Oh well. Okay, so even though it's not what I do, I'm gonna follow the Boomsticks manifesto. That's not the right word. Uh, I don't really know what the word is. It doesn't matter. So what she did was she put some on her eyelid and on her brow bone. Okay, feels like it's going to be a bit much, but here I go. Eyelids first. Did it do anything? I don't know. Oh, I already hate the highlighter on my brow bone. That's, we're just going to go with it. Plus, I really think I need to... Uh, I need to maintain my eyebrows. Oh, uh, I just shoved it in there without taking it back in. Look, I already made it not very nice. That's not nice. Okay, so where else should I highlight? Maybe like, hmm, hmm. I really feel like I shouldn't highlight anywhere else. I shouldn't go crazy with this thing. I might, I might highlight right here. Why? I don't know, but I kind of feel like if I wanted something to be shiny, I would want that to be shiny. My cheeks and right here, making me look like I have a healthy shine about me. Okay, what do you think about this? Maybe I should sit back and we should do the side by side. Oh, you know what? One more thing. Um, I wouldn't do this myself unless I was wearing a really wide neckline, but in the commercials, they also put it here on the clavicle. And I'm not doing this right, and it's gonna get on my necklace. I don't wanna highlight my moles. I have so many moles there. I'm gonna do it, do it. <laughs> There's highlighter chunked up around my mole. Uh, here is my Boomsticks dupe look. What I think is funny about this whole boom cosmetics craze is that they they said, all you need are these three sticks. That's all you need. And you know what, it's kind of true, right? Like this is really all I need to look like a decent looking person that's pulled together and polished. So it's kind of true. Do I need to spend 80, $90 on it? No, that's the truth. But I also don't feel like I'm completely finished. And I think that's why also Boom has added so many add-ons to their website. It's not just these three sticks. It's they have a very expensive mascara, a very expensive brow gel, lots of skincare items that are a little pricey, but I'm sure they work great. I'm sure they do. And if you want to spend it, go ahead. But you know what? I really feel like I need um, mascara and mascara does not need to be expensive. I didn't even put on um, concealer today, which is interesting because I, maybe, maybe I don't need concealer as much as I think I do. This is the mascara I'm going to use. This is just a simple drugstore cover girl mascara. This mascara is in black brown. And you know, I never wear black mascara. It's just too harsh on my coloring. So if you have lighter coloring, mine's on the lighter end. I'm like medium light. Um, Consider not going all the way dark with the eye makeup. This is a more natural tone for me. Okay, let's see if mascara is even necessary. Let's see if it makes it better or if it's just too much. I find this to be a very nice natural looking mascara. I'm not trying to create lashes that aren't there. I don't have great eyelashes. They're kind of sparse, kind of short. 
Honestly, no one's ever come up to me and said, wow, you'd look so much better with fake eyelashes. So <laughs> I don't, I don't know. And I don't understand what the big deal is about these extra eyelashes these days, but it just seems like a step that I cannot handle. I cannot put this in my life and I feel like there is no need. I feel like my eyelashes are fine and they just need a little support from their owner and to know that they are loved just the way they are. So what do you think? Did the mascara help? Is it too much? I never put mascara on the bottom. It's gonna work its way down there eventually anyhow, but I do find that this is a very good long wearing mascara that washes off easily with soap at the end of the night. I, I don't know why more people aren't into this particular mascara, but I like it. Okay, side by side comparison time. Let's see. Can you see my shimmer? It's very subtle. So you know what? I'm gonna take it one step further, just one. I'm not going to add concealer. I'm going to go without concealer today. I didn't put any concealer on my skin. Usually I'll put some across here, a little bit down the bridge of my nose and in the corners of my eyes. I'm not going to do it today, but I would like to try this other thing I got from the same company, either NYX or NYX. I'm, I really should find out. It's a very thin eyeliner in brown, Epic Ink Liner. I really feel like this is gonna to be too much. But I'm gonna to try to keep the line as skinny and as small as possible. And what I really like to do is just outline the very corner of my jonky eyelids to kind of help them uh, disappear a little bit. Pretend they aren't there. So that's what I'm gonna do, just the outer corners. So I'm not trying to wing it. I'm not trying to create an entirely new eye shape where my eyes are pulled up back toward the back of my head like all the young people love to do. I'm just trying to be me, minus a little bit of chonk, that's all. Okay, so that's one. <laughs> it just sprung out of my hands like it was alive, like it was a little leprechaun. That could have been a little bit of a neater application for someone who's putting makeup on and then posting it on the internet. Okay, what do you think? Final makeup look. Comparison. I think it's a very nice natural look. And you know what? The highlighter on the eyelid, it grew on me. I do like it. Brow bone, you know what? It's okay. I do feel like it's a little bit frosty. I'm not into that. I'm gonna wipe it off a little bit. No need for frosty. Okay, I'm very happy with this makeup look. So let's review. Let's review what it was. <clears throat> Tinted moisturizer. The extra moisturizer for your cheeks and um, crow's feet here. Um, this really is the trick. This is the makeup artist trick that I learned when I was younger and I was being a model. It was not any kind of very successful model. I was uh, just doing my job, but they would always bring this out and tap it on there. And I'm serious. It's a real thing. Okay. What else did we do? We did long wearing lipstick because we want things to last. We did these two wonder sticks. We did one for color and we did one for highlight and they were $14 each. What a deal. We did some mascara, even though it's not in the boomstick trio. Oh, and don't forget our little powerhouse Burt's Bees tinted lip balm. I just love those and they come in many colors. It's a nice little gift to yourself. Oh, and we did a little bit of brown eyeliner on the edges, which I'm not sure how much that added, but it kind of helps define my eyes a little bit without adding anything too unnatural looking. 
So if I was feeling a little bit shiny today, and I'm not, I would probably dust some loose powder over my T-zone. I don't feel it's necessary today. Um, that's a very simple thing to add in here. How many products was this? I don't know. Do we want to include spray? I think we do. Uh, one, two, three. And that was for moisture alone. And then we did three more for color. Well, four, four. Let's not forget the eyebrow pencil, the workhorse of my life. This would be number eight. And then I added two frivolous items. So that would be a total of 10, which sounds like a lot. But when I set them here in front of me, it's actually not a lot. It's not a lot. It seems like this would be very easy to fit in a makeup bag. You don't even need this big spray bottle. I think this is, this is great. This is a great amount of cosmetics to be putting on daily. It didn't take long. It's just that I was talking so much. That's what took so long. Okay, well, I hope you had fun. I had a lot of fun. I kind of like my new natural look and I'm going to take it with me on my next trip. And that's all I'm going to take. And it's gonna have to be enough. I think it will be. I do like this look. So I just wanna do a little shout out to Cindy Joseph, who I think is gorgeous and adorable and got a nice personality. I do think you're doing something cool with that makeup line. I'm sorry to uh, give people dupes for it, but I feel like some people do need that and I always love a good dupe. What's a dupe? Like a sub? A sub for something? <laughs> In case you didn't know. I don't want to use trendy young people words where I shouldn't. All right, well that was fun and I'll see you next time. <laughs>